Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here with my divisional round picks for the NFL playoffs. But first, let's recap last week. Last week, I was 2-2. Two and two. The Patriots were the big team that let me down. They lost 20 to 13 to the Tennessee Titans at home. So that was a kind of a shocking, I think it shocked the entire football world. I mean, everybody was picking the Titans to win. I mean, the uh, Patriots. Even, I think, Mike Rabel, the head coach of the uh, Tennessee Titans, I think in his pool he had the Patriots. So the Patriots got um, upset in that game. And I got the Texans game correct only because they happened to have played just well enough to win the game and take the game into overtime where they finally ended up winning it. But I got to say that both of those coaches should have been fired immediately after the game. Because both were idiots in the game. The Bills had a commanding, I think it was a 16 to nothing lead, and they blew it. And, um, and then Bill O'Brien decided to go for it um, late in the fourth quarter when he was, um, at the time, at the time he was winning the game, I don't remember exactly what the score was right then, but he was winning the game and he was deep uh, in the um, in the Bills end, maybe like around the 30-yard line, somewhere around there. And he had like a fourth and two or a fourth and three, something like that. Um, even if it was a fourth and one, I don't care what it was. In fact, I think it was the 30... I think they were outside of field goal range. Maybe maybe it was the 35, 38, something like that. You know, I would have sent out the punting unit and just did a little pooch punt to knock the Bills deep in their end. But he decided to go for it, the fourth and one or fourth and two, whatever it was. And, of course, he did not get it. And so the Bills took over at like the 38, 36, 38, 40, whatever it was. And they had a short, a shorter field than if they had pooch punted the, the ball to them and they had had to uh, try to run it back and then try to run plays to get from deep in their own end. But because they had the short field or the shorter field, they actually went down and, um, and tied the game. And sent it to overtime. So, yeah. I mean, you know, both coaches should have been fired. Even Bill O'Brien right after the game. But I did get that game right. Lots of people uh, had picked the Bills to, to win the game. And those people were wrong. And then I also got the Saints game wrong. That was another big upset where the uh, Vikings actually uh, beat the Saints. Um in overtime. So, I don't know. The Saints have bad luck with the Vikings in the playoffs. Uh, first, you had the Minneapolis Miracle or the Minnesota Miracle or whatever they called it. The Minneapolis Dome Miracle. I don't know what it was. But anyway, and then, um, yeah, and then the Vikings beat them on Sunday in overtime. So, um, but at least the Philadelphia game turned out predictably. I had predicted that the Seahawks would win the game, and they predictably did. However, really, and I'm going to be honest here, and, you know, Gary B., this one is for you. I think if Wentz had not been injured, he may have actually won that game for Philadelphia because um, they had Josh McCown in his backup after Wentz went out. Um, nine something like nine minutes into the game, something like that. Um, and McCown was overthrowing people. He was um, missing people badly. He was getting sacked. Um, the experience, I think the experience of Wentz and probably the fact that he would have been more on target, um, considering how Seattle played, 
Wentz might actually have beaten him. But that didn't happen. What actually happened was Wentz got injured and Philadelphia did not win. So that all of that, when you add all of that up and you put it into the uh, trash compactor, I came out two and two. So um, yeah, that wasn't really it wasn't really a stellar week for me for four games to just go two and two. Um, and I figured three and one was a lock and that maybe I would get the uh, Texans game wrong. But anyway. I digress. So here we go. We're gonna we're gonna talk about the the games for next week. So here's the first game. This is the Saturday. Jan Can you see this? Can you see this all? Let me let me just yeah. There you go. Uh, this is uh, Saturday, January 11th at 8:15 p.m. and this is gonna be the Titans at Baltimore. And um, the Titans are 9-7, and seven, but they're coming off, like I said, a big win over the Patriots. And the Ravens won the AFC North with a 14-2 and two record. Lamar Jackson is one of only two quarterbacks in the history of uh, the NFL to rush for over 1,000 yards. And also he passed for 3,127 yards and 36 touchdowns. So, uh, and then again, you have the Titans who were nine and seven during the year and, uh, somehow managed to beat the Patriots last week. Although I think the Patriots are on the slippery slope now. So, um, when you put that all into the computer and you come out the other end, I'm going to say Ravens 35, 21 in this game. That's my prediction for this game, this particular one. So mark that down. Mark, write these scores down too, because I think I'm right in the neighborhood. I think I'm potentially I'm in the neighborhood on these, or maybe not. I don't know. So anyway, let's go to the next game. And you're saying, well, Sportsman Z, what's the next game you're going to review? Well, the next game I'm going to review is the Texans at the Chiefs. Now the Texans. We're 10 and 6, and they're coming off an overtime defeat, as I said, of the Bills, 22 to 19, uh, mainly because uh, Watson, their quarterback, was able to get out of uh, what looked like a sure sack and run for enough yards to get them down into field goal range, easy field goal range. And this is another reason. I mean, Bill O'Brien at first looked like he was thinking of going out there and running a few more plays. Now, to his credit, he did call timeout and decide, no, let me just kick a field goal here and win the game right now. You think? So anyway, um, yeah. Now, they have the 28th ranked defense in the NFL, and then over here you got the Chiefs. The Chiefs were 12-4. and four. They uh, and Mahomes passed for over 4,000 yards and 26 touchdowns. Remember when another Kansas City quarterback, Bill Kenny, passed for 4,000 yards, and we thought that was really something. But right now in today's NFL, no, it's not. Back when Bill Kenny did it, it was some serious, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, but he passed for over 4,000 yards, 26 touchdowns against only five interceptions. And they have the 17th ranked defense in the NFL. And um, also there's a conspiracy theory associated with the Chiefs and another team in the playoffs. And I will get to that once we get to that game. But um, for right now, I'm saying Chiefs 28-16 in this game. So here we go to the next game. Now, of course, this is one of the games where the shocker happened, and we have the uh, the Vikings having um, uh, beaten the Saints. So, uh, you got the Vikings, and this game is going to be Saturday, January 11th at 4.45 p.m. And uh, the Vikings were 10-6 and six during the regular season. They were a wild card team because Green Bay actually won the uh, NFC North. They beat New Orleans 26-20 in overtime, as we have already discussed, and they have the 14th ranked defense in the NFL. 
But now you got the San Francisco 49ers. And the San Francisco 49ers won the NFC West with a 13-3 regular season record. And they have the second overall defense in the NFL. Now, I'm not overly impressed with their offense. Garoppolo has had his moments, and he's had his bad moments. So, I'm going to say 49ers 24-17. Kind of a close game. But, yeah, I think you really got to go with the 49ers here. The um, I Really, the Vikings were lucky that they beat the Saints. The Saints just didn't have one of their better days. And that brings us to the last game. And the last game is the Seattle Seahawks at the Green Bay Packers. This game will be Sunday, January 12th at 6.40 p.m. And uh, Seattle was 11-5 during the regular season. They didn't win their division because they were in the same division as the 49ers. And they beat Philadelphia 17-9 to advance in the playoffs. Now, first of all, I want to say that even if Philadelphia was totally healthy, to have won the game only 17-9 really wasn't that great. But um, on top of that, Philadelphia was really not very healthy. I think they were playing with some, some guys they grabbed from a Wawa. So um, they have the number 26 team defense, and they're going up against Green Bay, who won the uh, NFC North. And uh, they did that with a 13-3 and record, and they have the number 18 defense overall. So, um, overall, I am going to say Packers win this game 20-16. to I think it's going to be a close game. I think Seattle is really going to give them a close game. But based on how they, you know, really weren't actually what you would call manhandling the um, Philadelphia defense because they weren't. Um, I don't see them scoring a lot of points on the Green Bay defense. Now to the conspiracy theory that I saw online. It was a very interesting one. Don't you just love conspiracy theories? Um, I read uh, uh, there was a guy online that says that because this is the 100th year of the NFL, which is a big special to-do event, it really isn't. Everything that, um, you know, every, well, I don't want to say every business and every entity gets to 100 years. Certainly, I'm not going to get to 100 years, but, uh, nor do I want to, but. Because this is the 100th anniversary of the NFL, this guy thinks that the NFL is rigging the postseason playoffs so that the Super Bowl will be Kansas City against Green Bay, which would be a rematch of Super Bowl One. Okay? Now, when I read that, I was thinking, cuckoo. But, hey, you know, let's go with it. I picked Green Bay to win. I picked Kansas City to win. And then I guess next week, when they both inevitably advance to the NFC Championship game and the AFC Championship game, I should pick both of them to win at that time. Because they have to meet each other in the Super Bowl. Now... I didn't watch long enough because this guy is really a nutcase. I did not watch long enough to see whether he thinks that Green Bay will win as they actually did in Super Bowl One. But yeah, so there's that. So what do you guys think? Did you like my picks? Do you think that I'm going to do better this coming week? Um, what do you think of the conspiracy theory? How, how, how do you like that? <laughs> it probably would not behoove you to, to chime in and say, oh yeah, yeah, I believe that guy. So um, anyway, um, that's what I got for you. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, 
don't forget to you know the drill don't forget to subscribe to the channel ring the bell so that you know when i've got new content out share it with anybody that you think might be interested i will keep doing the playoffs all the way up through the super bowl i might even give you a lot more statistics who knows i might do a more in-depth breakdown when we actually do the super bowl maybe but anyway that's what i got for you right now sportsman z bob zolke signing off